Today's plant is another popular culinary herb, ginger. Ginger, or zingiber officinal, is the name of a beautiful leafy tropical plant. The part we use, however, is actually the root, or rhizome, of the plant. Ginger grows as two to four feet tall, reed-like leafy stems with seven inch long, one inch wide leaves that closely hug the stem and are slender at the tip. When he flowers, which takes years even among varieties that do flower, the flowers appear on the stalks crowded into a club-like shape and are green with purple lips. The ginger that we have today is a cultigen, meaning it was deliberately altered or selected by humans and is the result of artificial selection, also meaning ginger does not exist in a wild state. All parts of ginger are consumable by humans, and but any wild ginger may be poisonous. He can be propagated by separating the rhizomes eyes and planting to grow shoots and more rhizomes. Ginger is native to Southeast Asia and enjoys climates of USDA hardiness zones 9 through 12 and fertile, well-draining, moisture-retaining, loamy soil. He is influenced by the planet Mars, the element of fire, and the sign Aries, just like the plant basil that we did earlier this week. Since ancient times, ginger has been an essential part of Chinese, Arabic, and Indian medicine. During the Middle Ages, it was held with such high esteem, he was said to have come from the Garden of Eden. Today we use ginger to aid with a number of digestive and circulatory conditions, such as motion sickness, morning sickness, nausea, vomiting, inflammation, colds, coughs, indigestion, intestinal gas, headaches, painful menstruation, sore throat, flu, bronchitis, stimulating digestion, he is an antiseptic, and he is a good source of vitamin C, magnesium, and potassium. Be cautious not to use during pregnancy because it is warming and moving. Ginger is also well known within the magical community as a spice to keep near the altar for his potent ener energetic properties. His magical properties and applications are very similar to cinnamon. Here's a list of energies ginger brings to a space, body, or event. It is also worth noting that you can sprinkle or place a slice in your wallet to bring in money, and you can consume him before spell work to add heat to the spell or drink before meditation to promote stability and groundedness. Ginger can be used as itself or as an essential oil. Ginger tea is said to help release anger, frustration, resentment, and jealousy, bringing in contentment and balance. The measurements for ginger tea are about one inch of ginger cut into slices, boiled in one cup of water for 20 to 25 minutes. I enjoy this tea with a little lemon and honey. Will you be adding ginger to your next shopping list? If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.